Now, the casualty unit at the Livingston Hospital in Port Elizabeth was closed down yesterday. The closure was allegedly brought about because the unit has not been cleaned for three days due to staff shortages and a lack of protective gear. Now, the hospital is also one of the quarantine sites for COVID-19 patients in the province. This has thrust the Eastern Cape in the focus of the National Health Department yet again due to the infection trends emerging in the province. Our reporter, Luando Nomoi, is at the Livingston Hospital. It's a good afternoon to you, Luando. Certainly a difficult situation and one where you can tell that if it doesn't get sorted, the Eastern Cape is going to suffer irreparable damage here. Luando, I'm not sure if you can hear me at this point in time, but really just talking about just how the irreparable damage of not getting to the bottom of this and ensuring that areas like the Livingston Hospital are cleaned uh, is going to be very critical to ensuring that uh, the Eastern Cape's cases of COVID-19 do not skyrocket. Have you heard any word from hospital officials and certainly from government as well? Well, thank you very much, Arabile. We are at the Livingston Hospital, which, which was was one of the the. the the quarantine sites which were for first earmarked, you know, in the province to actually accommodate, you know, um, coronavirus patients. And, you know, now there has been some sentiments and we've sp spoken to some workers and to the unions as well, just in terms of how this has affected them. Because now the new arising issue here is that for the past three days that the casualty and emergency unit has not been cleaned, which thus has also hindered some groundwork to be done with in the particular hospital but however the hospital is not closed operations have resumed you know in a phased approach and normally because we also took a brief walk which inside the, the hospital and we we saw that things are normal and indeed the casualty unit is not closed but with me to discuss more on this i am joined by dr lita matuan the deputy general of the department of health sir thank you very much for your time and welcome to sapc news just briefly tell us some of the sentiments you know that you have heard we, we have heard that the the, the, the casualty and the, the emergency unit within the hospital has encountered a few problems in terms of cleaning and you know disinfecting it um, as management you know what is the way forward in alleviating this crisis no, thank you very much uh, uh, and, and uh, I appreciate the, your opening comments because it is important to explain that uh, Livingston did not close there are challenges that we have had with our workers in terms of their worry about uh, getting payment for their overtime, which we have now sorted out. Uh, but since the time that the, 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 the three days, the, the hospital has been working and uh, we've been trying to keep it clean, now that has been sorted out now because now the, the workers are, are back at work, they are cleaning the facility and everything is, 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 is back to normal. Now, the issue here is that uh, we, we have been working together with, the, 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 with our workers to ensure that uh, we support them in this time because, as we all know, this is a very difficult time, the time of the COVID, where everybody has got fears and has got worries about how this is going to affect them. And that has also created a little bit of uh, anxiety on our staff. We have been now we are in the process of ad ad getting additional psychologists and social workers to be able to take them through. Livingston has been hit hard. There are quite a number of uh, workers that uh, are actually on, uh, uh, have, have been affected by the, 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 the virus itself. And, and, and that is why we need to be even more vigilant and make sure that people uh, put on appropriate PPE at all times because we worry that people, if they don't put on appropriate PPE, they don't uh, do social distancing, they don't uh, look after their health. This will actually make the, the, the situation worse. So we, we, we are working with them. 
you will recall that uh, Livingston, we've actually separated it up into two areas. There is a COVID side and a non-COVID side. So there is no mixing of patients. We ensure that uh, everybody is in their space and everybody is working where they are supposed to be working. Thank you. And, and, and currently, just to give us, you know, the recent update, you know, on the casualty unit as we speak, we know we are at level three, you know, we are expecting more patients to be uh, mm -hmm. admitted in this particular division of the hospital. Can you assure us that, you know, there the is efficient staff within that division and they have the necessary protective equipment? Yeah. Now, as, as, as part of the, 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 this uh, confusion that came, it's exactly because we are in the process of pulling in additional staff, especially cleaning staff, to make sure that there's continuous, because we know that the traffic is going to be higher. So we are appointing 100 uh, 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 general assistants to, to help with cleaning, uh, linen, laundry management, so that we can have more turnaround time. We are worried, obviously, about the high volumes that are going to come in now because of the level three, because with level three, more people are now able to, to interact, and we're worried about the impact increase in violence and, and the motor vehicle accidents that are usually clogging our casualties, which were down during the times of level four and five. Thank you. And in, our, in conversation with the, the union, you know, they spoke and, and they gave us sentiments of how of the overtime issue that due to the shortage of staff, you know, uh, staff workers would work as lim in limited numbers in a particular division and they were promised overtime. But that has since been declined, as they have stated, you know, from the provincial office. Um, can you comment on this matter? Yeah, the, the, this is exactly the issue that I'm saying that there was a bit of a confusion because we said there's going to be additional people, 100 people that are appointed. Now, the, this issue, the, the, there was a, a feeling that there is no need for a, a, additional overtime on the one side. We have uh, engaged with the, uh, the, the province and we have now approved to say for the first three months, which is April, May and June, which is what we are in now, we'll still do the overtime. And then we will, in this month, appoint the additional people so that our people also do not uh, have to be in this uh, time of stress, work long hours and be able to get the place clean and, and cope with the volumes that are coming through. So the, the whole idea was to ensure that there is additional staff and a decrease on the overtime. So that's, that's, that's what we're sorting out. Thank you. And, and as we speak right at this moment, is it business as usual in the casualty um, and in emergency unit in the hospital? Yes, it is now business as usual. We've shared with the unions the, 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 the memo of approval that shows that the, the overtime will be paid up to the end of June. So everything is now back to normal. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for your time, Doctor. Thank you. That was Doctor Lita Mantiwane just from the Department of Health, just uh, unpacking to us, you know, the sentiments that have unfolded within this particular facility, stating that the facility is indeed not closed, its operations as usual, and you know, the staff is working in a controlled manner to ensure that they are protected indeed within this particular facility. But from us here, it's back to you in studio. All right. Thank you so much for that uh, report there, uh, Luanda, out in the Eastern Cape there, giving us a sense of really Livingston Hospital in a dire situation needing to be cleaned then. And it's going to be absolutely critical to get that one right. Let's.